no further ado, my buddy, Mr. Bernie Thompson, get ready, get yourself bolted down, here he comes. Hello, how are you gentlemen Thanks. doing? The first thing I'd like to do is thank all of you for coming out. I too am a technician and I work in a shop daily. I have a 10 base shop in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's really hard to come out and do training and it takes dedication and I really appreciate all of you coming out. I also own another company called Automotive Test Solutions. Automotive Test Solutions is a company that makes a lot of different diagnostic pieces. So we make scopes and we make gas analyzer and reflashers and scan tools and quite a few different products. Um, so that's sort of where I am. What we want to cover tonight is something that's new diagnostic technology. So the first thing that we would want to know is what is technology? Well, technology defined by Webster Dictionary is this. It's a technical language. It's applied science. It's a technical method of achieving what? Basically, comp dead center, and we have the valves closed, and we apply a cylinder leakage. So I have a second test involved when I have a problem. And even then, that test might not be accurate. What happens if I have a broken valve spring? When I do a leak down test, it's going to be fine, isn't it? And if I do a cranking running test, it could also be good depending on where the valve spring location of the brake is. In other words, it will seal it, and when I put pressure in there, it's going to definitely seal it, right? Is that going to be shown? So we could have inconclusive data by using a gauge. What I would like to do is get away possibly from the gauge system. The gauge system works, and if you're good with gauges, you can get a lot of data out of it. This engine has a misfire. And this misfire, have you guys ever had on a V series engine, the gasket falls out into the crankcase and it's a miss? Is that hard? Is that an easy miss? Is that an easy to fix? Really hard to find, isn't it? The intake. The intake. Bottom of the intake where the gasket can fall out and you get a leak into the crankcase. It's not easy to find, right? It's very easy. Because don't limit your minds. Man, this stuff works on anything of a physical quantity that I want to measure. And a lot of things on cars have this. And all we want to do is try to make it easier for you guys to go to work and fix cars.